friends and entrepreneurs. I hope you're doing well today. My name is Helen, and I am a bookkeeper and a software coach. I specialize in QuickBooks Online, teaching you the finances of your business and how to uh, integrate that into QuickBooks Online and have a very streamlined business. But thank you so much for watching my video today. And if you do like my content, please like and subscribe. And I appreciate you supporting my channel. It helps me so much. If you have any topics that you would really like more information on or for me to do a video on, please comment below because I would love to do that. Any challenge you're having in your business from your finances to a business lifestyle, um, I would love to help you with that. But today I wanted to show you a strategy um, for your banking. Like when you are starting your business, you actually need the one of the first things you really need to do after you have your federal ID number in your business name, you want to start setting up your bank accounts and your credit cards. Now, I want to say up front that if, though, you don't have a federal ID number, you can just um, open up another personal checking account and a personal savings account and have a personal credit card, but you would just use those accounts exclusively for your business. It's very important to keep your personal expenses and income separate from your personal income and expenses. And we are going to be tracking all of these. And that's not only, you know, for IRS and for your taxes and things like that, but it helps you streamline your business and it helps you see exactly how much money you are making in your business that you can transfer to your personal account. And then that is going to be reflected to then in your personal budget. So when we are doing our banking and we're doing our financing, we are actually automatically creating a business budget and we're creating a personal budget that you can go by. So I think that's really powerful in your business. So um, what you want to do is have one bank account, which I call is your operating bank account. And that would be where all of your income is deposited into and then that is also where all your expenses will be paid out whether you write a check to someone whether you send them zelly or um, it automatically just comes out your bank account because that's what i do a lot i think that that's really you know time saving is to set up everything that is coming out your bank account then i just keep me a spreadsheet of what days everything is coming out. And this keeps me, you know, on top of my business. So anything that isn't on that, that starts coming out my bank account that I know to go and take a look at and make some adjustments for. So that's, you know, really uh, powerful there. But you want to have your business operating account and then at the same time have a savings account. Um, and I suggest like, whatever um, sales that you have, that you take 10% of those sales and then transfer that to your savings account. And that will, you know, create a little nest egg for you in case, you know, that you need money, you know, to pay a bill or do something and you're low in your business checking account that you have a backup source for that. So then it doesn't cost you trying to go out and borrow money and paying interest and fees for that. So you want to have the savings account. And later on down the road, what we use that savings account for is when you start having payroll that we're allocating, you know, X amount of dollars every week that's being transferred to the payroll account. And then when you run your payroll, all of that is already paid for. You have it taken care of because a lot of companies really get in trouble when it comes to payroll and getting that payroll set up, keeping sales tax paid, keeping all payroll taxes paid. So that is a big commitment, you know, when you start running your own payroll. So, but we want to keep that in mind. 
But then we also, I think it's a good idea um, to have one credit card, at least one or two credit cards for your business. Um, I have a lot of clients that do that. Um, usually it's with Chase, Capital One, um, Bank of America, um, U.S. Bank, some of those. So you want to have that. Um, so you have access to using that credit card and give you a little bit more cash flow. But you want to always be sure to pay that credit card off in full at the end of the month or in the middle of the month so that you can keep your credit score up high, you know, so you can get access to any money that you need to. And whether it's on a personal level or whether it's on a business level. So and when you're first starting out, everything is going to show up on your personal credit report because you haven't built yet a business credit report. So we want to always be doing that. So, um, but those are the three things, you know, when you want to get your finance set up, those are the three things we're going to do first. You know, open an uh, operating account for a business, a savings account, and either one or two credit cards. And this gives us like um, little placements for our money to go, you know, we can keep in an operating account. I really, on my operating account, I keep that is, you know, very low. I only keep, you know, $500, $1,000 in there, but then I'll put a bunch of money into my savings account. Um, and that way it just keeps my business lean and debt free. So I went uh, debt free probably about uh, five years ago. I started on my journey. And so not too long ago, probably six months ago, I actually did become debt free. So um, and it is amazing feeling and it can give you so much more freedom in your business because you're not worrying about money all the time and you're not worrying about where you're going to get clients from or who's going to buy your product so much that you can really focus on the work that you do and, you know, helping people and serving people. And I think that is incredibly important. So that's what I have for you today. And I just do want to encourage you to go back and look at some of the videos that I have put up, um, especially um, QuickBooks bank account setup. I have, you know, where I'm showing you in QuickBooks how we have that set up. And then also I have a bio um, on myself as well. And so you can just kind of get to know who I am and, you know, how and why, you know, you would want, you know, to be involved with my company and my business and how I can help you um, with your business. And then I also want to, I try and put out as much free information and uh, content um, and resources that I can for you to help you grow your business. Um, I do a giveaway sometimes. So my last giveaway was with Amy, Amy Porterfield's book, two weeks notice. And so Stacy Hughes won that uh, giveaway. We did a drawing for the book. So I am grateful that I could get that book to her, you know, to help her in her business. But I also have, um, there is a link below that has how you set up your chart of accounts, all your numbers in different categories, and that can help you out a lot. And I have cash flow and beyond, um, which is tips and strategies with your money and with your business. And I send out different information and help resources with that every two weeks. And then I have my YouTube videos, which you can watch anytime. And then I have social media that I am on Facebook every day. Um, I have a business page there, a Star Nomad Bookkeeping. And then um, I'm on LinkedIn. You'll find me there. And then if you've never heard of Alignable, Alignable is a great uh, business to business network. And so I have a lot of friends and colleagues on there and that I'm serving in that um, networking group there. So, but anyway, I hope you guys have a wonderful week and just remember to always be doing something good for you and be doing something good for your business. So cheers to next time. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.